Three Rivers Distilling Company opened in April 2016 as Northeast Indiana's first craft distillery since, get this, Prohibition. The award-winning company produces a full lineup of grain-to-bottle products made here in the Summit City. Today we're joined by Aaron Pence, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing, and Three Rivers Distilling Company's Cooper and Beverage Director, Matthew Lipsky. Thanks so much for coming in this morning, guys. Pleasure. Absolutely. Aaron, we want to start with how did Three Rivers Distilling come about? Yeah, so uh, the two co-founders, uh, Stephen and Travis, uh, both met in the 122nd Fire Wing. Uh, Travis was out uh, at a craft distillery out west, said, why don't we do this in our hometown? Brought the idea back to Stephen. They got the thing started up and, uh, and kind of a military base there to get everything going and got the craft distillery up and running. And now that you're a year and a half in, how have things been going? Uh, it's amazing. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, we, uh, we're in over 200 locations in Indiana, wow. about 50 locations in Kentucky, uh, six products now and just continuing to grow. And Matthew, you're the cooper, and for those folks at home who don't know what a cooper is, tell us about that. Um, I make their whiskey barrels. So we make them here in Fort Wayne, um, just a couple blocks away from the distillery. It's cool. kind of a lost art. We do a lot of it by hand, but a lot of people don't really realize how important the barrel is to whiskey. Um, and I just love it. So. And we have you gonna? We're gonna make a drink here this morning. Yeah. What a Moscow Mule? Yeah, it's a Moscow Mule. It's got a slight modification, just a little bit better for fall. But it's very simple and easy. Anybody can make it at home, and it's quite a crowd pleaser. Cool. So take us through the steps here. Yeah, it's really easy. We're gonna start with our uh, copper Moscow Mule mug, which okay. we do offer for sale at the distillery as well. Um, we're gonna do a nice easy base pour of an ounce and a half of the Harvester Vodka. Okay. We're kind of pouring it over ice right now as well. Fresh squeezed lime juice. We just do about a half a lime. That's about a half an ounce. And please remember there's no substitution for fresh juice. Fresh juice. Yeah. It really absolutely. is not. You can just throw that lime in there for garnish as well. <clears throat> really simple. Now this is unsweetened cranberry juice. Ooh, okay. Um, it's very tart. I do about a half an ounce. You can do as much or as little as you like. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, and then here we're using Q ginger beer. This is a very spicy ginger beer. Ooh, so okay. if you don't like that much of a spice or a zing, definitely look for something like a Barrett's or a Gosling. But okay. again, there's no right or uh, wrong way to do it. And really we just top it off the taste and give it a little stir. And that's it. You can make these in large batches or quantities for a big party or something like that. Make it a little bit more fall festive with some uh, cinnamon garnish or uh, some star anise garnish on top, awesome. something like that. Easy and fun. Got us ready for fall. And Aaron, we want to talk a little bit more too about some of the different spirits that you make sure. at Three Rivers. Yeah, uh, all of our spirits come from uh, organically grown non GMO corn, wheat, barley, and rye. It all comes from a farm here in Indiana. Oh, nice. um, our vodka and gin, uh, the Harvester Vodka and Summit City Gin, are both nationally award winning spirits. And then our early bourbon uh, scored 92 points, won a gold medal up at the Heartland Spirits Festival, and was named the best bourbon produced in Indiana, which was really cool for wow. us. Best bourbon produced in Indiana right here in Fort right Wayne. Right here in Fort Wayne, That's absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and we also, the, the big news, I think, the reason why I actually asked you to come in today <laughs> is because now you can actually purchase these products from you directly. Yeah, you can come down to the distillery right now, uh, Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, during our normal operation hours. Um, stop in for a tour, we can show you around and you can purchase and then here very shortly, hopefully, hopefully before the holidays, we'll be opening our 7,000 square foot expansion which will bring uh, indoor dining, outdoor dining, uh, just a unique uh, view and experience to, to see the spirits being made and then uh, be able to taste these amazing cocktails. Cool, so kind of like how the local wineries and breweries have become a place to gather, that's what you're hoping Three Rivers will become in the future too. Absolutely, yes. 